Hi FlossTube, how are you? Today is Tuesday, July 14th, and uh, I missed you. I've been hula hooping. Actually, I made this video once already. Got a little frustrated because I don't can't find the sound anywhere. So my friend said, why don't you take a break and do some hula hooping? So I did, and I feel a lot better. So that was a good idea. If we haven't met yet, my name is Daylene, and this is my channel where I talk about cross stitch and quilting and sewing and gardening and chickens and what I'm grateful for. So thanks so much for stopping by. I missed you. I missed all your comments. I loved hearing from you. Uh, thanks a lot for your comments last time about the magnetic eyelashes. It was hilarious. Uh, I didn't really ever think about it and think, oh gosh, we should, um, maybe that would get hooked onto our magnetic needle minders, but lots of people had funny stories to tell so uh, only one person said don't do it just buy some really good mascara everybody else said buy them buy the eyelashes and then wear them and tell them tell us how you did it so I don't know. okay we'll see how that goes I might want to spend my money on fabric and thread instead of eyelashes so anyway can you hear the train I live about a half a mile away from the train track so um, it's a really long train I think it might be the cold train it comes through here every couple of days and there's like 120, 130 cars. So, um, anyway, hope, well, maybe the city folks want to want to hear the the train, when, um, or the country folks. I don't know. Maybe any of you might want to hear the train. So, we'll see how it goes. Hey, look what I got! I just picked it just now. Well, actually, 40 minutes ago when I first did the video. So, there you go. It's still fresh. So, I'm gonna do a giveaway later on. One of the questions is, what's your favorite zucchini recipe? Because I have two or three, maybe five, out there. I might be really good at growing zucchinis. So, um, yeah, I could probably put it on my resume. So, anyway, I need some recipes. So, what's your favorite recipe? We'll talk about it a little bit later. Um, let me see. Oh, and that gal, Deanna Ellett? She's the one that won the, uh, I did the random comment generator, and she won that holiday Christmas project bag um, for her uh, comment about the magnetic eyelashes. So, thank you, Deanna. Um, let's see, let's, oh, one more housekeeping. Um, our friend Olivia at Pumpkin Hollow Quilts, um, she does a great floss tube. She's a wonderful seamstress excellent stitcher beautiful beautiful stitching uh her quilts are just they grab you and you want to you want to start quilting that day when you see her quilts they're so beautiful she has a really pretty smile and a kind spirit and she needs us so this is our be kind moment for the day our be kind moment is could you please um send some good wishes her way her and her family lost their beloved dog um they had their dog for uh, I think 14 years and uh, her name was Molly so uh, Olivia is her heart is broken so I thought maybe we could all help her out we could send some good wishes some good karma send her a text or an email or if you have her phone number give her a call tell her you're willing to hold her hand for the next couple weeks and while her heart starts to heal so we're so sorry that your dog went to heaven and we want to stand there with you and hold your hand and we've all been there it's the worst it's the worst feeling your broken heart um but i hope you can remember all kinds of good memories with your with your sweet molly so anyway thank you everybody for helping me with that okay i already talked about my zucchini i'm like so proud i want to talk about it again <laughs> let's see what do i got to talk about here oh here's my chicken poop see uh let's see there's the chicken coop right over there no over there and the long run and there's the the pennants that I made were for some from some old feed sacks but I make my own food now um, I, I've gotten four eggs for the last three days in a row so that's great that's really great uh, all, I have four chickens and so the food that I feed them is whole corn uh, black oil sunflower seeds um, whole oats grit um, oyster shells, diatomaceous earth, um, anyway, really, really high protein and you get a lot of eggs. So I'm, makes me really happy that I, uh, switched and did my own. It's cheaper. I know what they're, I know what they're eating and, um, I'm getting uh, much higher egg production. So that makes me really happy and less waste, less waste of food that's, you know, that they scrape out and don't want or whatever. Okay. Let's talk about what I've been doing. Okay. Look, 
Look, I made my green, I'm making my green powder. It doesn't look like that much really, but it's a lot of work. It's a lot of stuff. Okay, so in my garden when, um, you know, we, we I planted, early planted uh, spinach, uh, Swiss chard, and so we had, you know, several meals from that. Um, enjoyed it, it was delicious, and then it started to bolt. And that means um, the that center stem goes up and it starts to flower so that it seeds, so that it'll reseed itself for next year. That's kind of nature's way. But once it starts to bolt, those leaves are not as sweet. They are uh, a little bit bitter. So uh, not so great for a salad. So anyway, I pick all of the leaves. Uh, I give the roots to my chickens and then um, I take all the leaves, wash them with some, just spray some vinegar on them and rinse them off. I don't, I don't spray or anything, but you know, there's some dirt or maybe a spider or something. And then I put the leaves in the dehydrator. And then once they're dehydrated, then I take them and put them in my food processor. And I end up with this really 100% nutritious green powder. And it is, I just mix all of it, whatever I have, Swiss chard, um, uh, kale, spinach, anything that's green, and um, then I save it, and then in the winter I use a teaspoon or so in my soups, uh, any kind of cooking, any kind of smoothie, juices, I just put a teaspoon in there, and so then all winter we have excellent nutrition that we can get from greens that we won't have fresh greens at that time. So anyway, I'm going to try to fill my jar maybe a couple times, so that's, that's what I've been doing. Um, oh, look at this, look at this, I made some uh, pickled onions. The color is gorgeous. Can you see that color? Ah, oh, they're so good. They're so easy. You just mix up some vinegar and a little bit of sugar and a bunch of uh, um, peppercorns and uh, anyway, then you put it in your refrigerator for a couple days and you can serve this with your meals and that is so good. That flavor is delicious, but those red onions create this gorgeous pink pink uh, onion that are really, really tasty. It adds a really nice touch to your dinner. Oh, okay, so the other thing I was ma I made, look what I made. That, my friends, is vanilla. I am going to have the best Christmas cookies 18 months from now. <laughs> Some people say six months to 18 months. So anyway, okay, so you take a bottle of vodka, I don't drink so I don't know I just I just bought the cheapest one so I don't know if this is great or not whatever anyway uh, vodka and um, some um, vanilla beans and uh, that you just cut them in half scrape the seeds out put all the seeds put the pods back in here shake it every day you want to put a piece of uh, wax paper on there because you don't want the metal to touch it and some people use uh, rum some people use spice rum they get a different kind of vanilla but this is just plain no taste and uh, give it a shake every day and it gets darker and darker and darker and 18 months from now I'll be making some fabulous cookies so you'll have to come over search some some cookies when I try my new vanilla out so uh, anyway there you go okay let's see okay let's talk about jo uh, Jolly July I really wasn't gonna do Jolly July and then I decided I would Okay, so my husband collects, uh, Mr. Wright has a Santa collection, so I thought this year I would make him uh, a couple of little Santas. And my friend had sent me the Hello from Liz Matthews, one of the Christmas trees, and I was going to make that, and then it can go, I have one more to go for Jolly July. Um, I made these little, you can see how small they are. And I kind of just made it like a drum with the, the bottom and, you know. So you stitch, let me see if I can get closer. You stitch um, the belt to the side, the head, and I just added the little rusty jingle bell for the top. Um, takes just a couple days to do the pattern. And then you, I stuffed it really hard with um, the fiber fill. And then I put some uh, walnut, crushed walnut shells in there and then sewed it shut so that it, it kind of has a weight to it. So it'll stand up really, you know, stand up really easily. Uh oh, there's our train. <laughs> okay, so I live about half a mile away from the train tracks. So I'm kind of hoping that it goes by really fast. So I hope it's a passenger train, Amtrak. Just zip by. We <laughs> Okay. Anyway, I have one more tall one to make. Um, 
and then I'm gonna wrap them up in tissue and set them aside so that I can be surprised when I take them out at Christmas time but I think I'm gonna make that tree um, that Liz Matthews did for a Christmas thing and it kind of might, might make a cute little display with it so anyway the fabric that I oh the book is the keepsake Christmas book and I got it at the library but I can't show you the book because the library is not bad opened up to get a so that we can go get the books again um, so anyway it's in the library safe and sound but I don't have it right this second um, anyway I needed 14 count Ada is what it called for and um, I, I would prefer to stitch on linen and so I just kept my eyes open trying to find it and I found this at Hobby House Needleworks online uh, it's a great shop um, I have a couple shops I want to talk to you about, three of them actually, but this one was really great and it's 28 count linen so I just did it over two threads so that it turns out the same size as the 14 count. So anyway, I've got one more to go, a real tall skinny one, so I hopefully I'll show you that one when I'm um, when I'm finished. Oh, and you use the, the linen as the backing fabric too, so it turns out just like a little Santa, so there you go. Okay, I'll set that aside. Maybe I should put the fabric in the shade. I don't know if that fades or whatever. But anyway, okay, let's see. What am I doing? What am I doing here? I want to talk about whips. That was that was my one of my whips. I'm in the middle. Well, I guess it's finished, and then it's and then it's um, in the middle because I have one more to go. So let me talk to you about that. Okay, so um, let's see. This one is. Remember, I started those five. Oops, a daisy. I started five of them last time, and I ended up working on two of them. One of them is We Live in Hope by Blackbird Designs. And I'm really enjoying it. It's turning out super nice. Okay, let me show you. Okay, here you go. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not. There you go. I'm kind of blind today, so I'm in the, sh I'm in the sun, so I don't know if you can... Uh, see it or not but okay so here's part of it is in the pattern it says Chesapeake Bay and I stitched Birch Bay because I live in Washington State and I grew up um, our family home in uh, my grandparents they um, they lived at uh, Point Whitehorn which if you look at the very top of the state of Washington it's at that very top point and right before you go into Canada and um, Anyway, I spent all my summers at Birch Bay and playing with my sisters and swimming and uh, learning to drive a boat and, and, and fishing and all those things with my family. So my, um, my family still lives there and in, in, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. So anyway, I wanted to rem remember Birch Bay instead of Chesapeake Bay, which I've never been to, I don't, I don't think. So anyway, I hope, I hope you can see this. Um, it's turning out really well, I like it. Um, I set it aside because I wanted to work on this one called Sampler Hill by Brenda Gervais. Okay. And this is my progress on that. I really like it. I love the colors. They're so soft and pretty and uh, really quiet. And I, I just, I love that. I didn't, I didn't think I was going to love the color scheme as much as I did. And I just, I just fell in love. Also this bee skep that's up here, it has eight or nine bees that'll be flying around it. And I'm going to practice my pin stitch. I'm going to watch a couple of videos and uh, try to, try to, do a better job at my pin stitch so those are going to be my practice stitches up there so anyway it's turning out really really lovely the threads for that one are um just gorgeous just just beautiful threads look at that gosh they're so pretty they really really are beautiful and they're both a pleasure to stitch on um i i know i said that i was going to stitch on them I was going to try different as many different ones like other people do but two different patterns plus the Santa's was about all I could uh, all I could do so. anyway okay let's uh, I want to I wanted to talk to you about those threads so I was missing uh, a handful of threads for all different all five projects and so I was just really trying to figure out where I could 
I don't have an LNS that's close. So, uh, Stacy, the 911 stitcher, she's a gal that makes gloss tube uh, videos, and she started a Facebook group called Stitcher 911, and and I'll link all of the things below. Um, but anyway, and so I thought, okay, um, I had my husband take a picture of me with a, an egg that I had gotten out of the the chicken coop, and I just said, hey, I got a question. And so I um, I asked, what's your favorite online shop to buy threads from? Oh my gosh, I got oodles of good ideas. So I just randomly picked three, and I tried them out. Okay, so the first one I tried was Cobweb Corner. They're in Iowa, and I ordered some thread. Um, and I'm here in Washington, so it got here in four days. Perfectly correct order, packaged beautifully, and quick shipping. So you can't ask for better than that. So I would say thumbs up on Cobweb Corner. Uh, number two was called Stitch and Frog and they are in Georgia, same thing. I got the thread correct order quickly. I got it within five, I think I got that one in five days. And that one, oh, I had to order a pattern too. I saw it on there, it's so pretty. It's by GGR and it's called Sweet Adeline and it's 1873. And I thought, oh, it's such a close name to my dear sweet Adelaide, my little granddaughter. So I thought, ooh, I better make this one and change the name for her. So that came along with some threads. Everything was beautifully packaged. Uh, I highly recommend, I, I would definitely go back to either one of those shops. Okay, and then the third one that I tried was called Hobby House Needleworks. That's where I got that red linen from. But I also got um, thread and I also got a pattern. I just I couldn't pass it up it's like a it's like a little miniature sampler it says ever so grateful and it's a little alphabet with a fancy snazzy sassy um turkey and it made me giggle it made me laugh we don't eat turkey so it's pretty funny so it'll be cute to have a little pillow out for Thanksgiving so anyway that came with the um the threads and the fabric everything again packaged beautifully quick service I got it within the week after I ordered it and they are they're in New York and so gosh I found three new shops right away that I just loved I thought they did a great job and I definitely would be back going to go back buy some more thread <laughs> buy some more thread hey let's talk about a couple floss tube makers one is new to me I think she's done two floss tube videos her name is Elizabeth and her channel is called Elizabeth Anne can stitch and she's from Texas uh, beautiful pieces oh she's doing a stocking she's got some houses she's doing consider the lilies uh, she's got a really beautiful smile and a lovely spirit so if you get some time and you want to uh, want a new uh, floss tube maker to watch I think you might want to uh, check her out pour a glass of lemonade and and go listen to what she has to say so I think you'll enjoy yourself and the other one I want to talk about we all know her Becca from Sambri Stitches. Uh, she's the one that's been doing the interview with a floss tube maker. And so um, they're all great. So if you go to her channel, you can look at all the videos and then you can just pick which floss tube person you want to you wanna learn about. But this week, she did an interview with Pam and Steph from Just Keep Stitching and it's hilarious and funny. I brought my stitching to sit and stitch with her and I didn't even pick up my stitching. I just enjoyed the video. It was so entertaining and um, all three of them were laughing and smiling smiling and and it just really was a, a feel-good interview so I think if you you want a little uh, a smile in your day I think uh, that's the place go uh, go pour some sparkling water and sit down and listen to the video you really you really will enjoy yourself so that's a good one uh, I want to do the giveaway okay <laughs> okay the giveaway came in this cool package number one okay so the giveaway is really really interesting um, one of the my viewers, she doesn't want her name known, she donated some money so that we could have some giveaways, which was very generous. Thank you so much. It was so kind of you. And so I was trying to figure out what I could spend the money on. So I decided to pick a designer that I like, and I thought, ooh, I'll ask her if I could buy one of her Bitsy Bobs. That's what she makes. Her name's Kelly, and she makes um, she makes these fabric, oops, fabric holders, which hold, uh, this is like a, a 
flannel kind of a fabric. They hold your threads as you're stitching. You have a little extra thread, you can set it there. This is a magnet, so your needle minder will fit on there. Um, and then there's a little zipper pocket that's clear so that you can see your uh, scissors and you know any kind of extra things, that, maybe extra needles or what have you. And then it closes with these nice snaps so that um, your things won't fall out. Here's her tag. And her company is called That's So Kelly Co. And she has an Etsy shop. And she has some beautiful things. Um, I think she has two different sizes of the Bitsy Bob. The stitching is impeccable. It's just beautiful. The fabrics are gorgeous. But wait, there's more. She gave a pattern, too. Okay, so the pattern is Hands on Design, Be a Pineapple. Stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet. Okay, so, wait, there's more. <laughs> she sent us a second one. This one is reds and blues, white, kind of a rosy color. Um, and it has the same thing, the, the flannel, needle minder spot, and the little zipper pocket. And her tag, really, really beautiful, beautiful stitching. But wait, there's more. She gave a second pattern. The same pattern, be a pineapple. Okay, so we have two of them. Okay, so the interesting part about this giveaway, one of the interesting parts, is um, I said, oh, I would like to send you some money. Uh, one of the subscribers wants us to uh, have a giveaway, and I, I chose your company, and I'd like to uh, send you the money. And she said, uh, I don't want the money. Donate the money to a charity, and I'll send you one of the Bitsy Bobs. Okay, number one, she sent two, and two patterns. And then, um, the, I, I wish I could sit down with her and have lunch and uh, enjoy the afternoon and, uh, you know, maybe have a glass of icy lemonade and just chat and visit and talk about stitching. But um, we can't do that right now. And so we decided to donate the money to her food bank in her town. So the money we would have spent on having lunch, we donated to the food bank. So not only did one of you out there, the subscribers, give me a little bit of money, and I was supposed to buy a giveaway, which I did, but then we donated the money to the food bank. So two of you are going to be happy here, because I'm doing two giveaways, and then think about it, a whole family is happy that they got some, um, some goodies at the food bank. So it really is great giveaway it really really makes me happy so okay so this one this is the one if you want this green with a, a little teeny bit of blue some rose color a little bit darker red color um, and then this dark green color inside which is gorgeous this is the one that reminds me of my zucchini so if you want to be in the drawing for this one you have to share uh, one of your favorite zucchini recipes or what you think I should uh, should do with my zucchinis. So anyway, you get the pattern and the Bitsy Bob from That's So Kelly Co. So that's one of them. Okay, and then the other one, the red, white, and blue. I kind of want to say red, white, and blue. That's what it is with the, the stars on the inside, the little stripy fabric. Really, really beautiful, beautiful stitching. Excellent, excellent quality. Um, for this one, you have to name a bay. Like I played at Birch Bay when I was a little girl. Um, that pattern said Chesapeake Bay. So I want to hear about a bay that's near your house or one that you grew up near or played and had a good time. So you just have to mention the bay with the, the blue water. That's for the bay. The green's for the, the zucchini recipe. So yay thank you so much kelly uh thank you for your kindness thank you for your generosity uh two patterns two bitsy bobs and you donated the money to charity uh you know mwah, couldn't ask for a better friend so uh thanks so much very much and um we really appreciate it and uh then someday maybe we can get together and have lunch and lemonade i think i think it would be a good thing so girls can dream right okay thanks Okay, I got some mail, and normally, um, I, I, I want to be, I mean, I, everybody has been so generous and kind and considerate, 
I, and I just, I feel kind of funny sometimes showing, like, show off what, what people gave me, but on the other hand, sometimes it's just like, gosh, everyone went to the trouble to, um, make me or buy me a beautiful card or, uh, they, they bought something or made something and I, it, I don't know. I just want to say thank you so much and I wanted to share some of the stuff that I got. I thought, I thought you might like to see some. So, okay. So let me see. I got a little stack here. Okay, first of all, I got this thank you note, um, and this is from Judy. She's the one that I traded a piece of 40 count fabric, and I was supposed to get back a piece of 32 count fabric. I did, but look, she gave me all these different colors, purple and mauve and cream and green. We were supposed to trade one for one, not a whole bunch of goodness. Huh, goodness. She wrote a really nice card, and um, thanks, Judy. I really appreciate it, and I'm glad we got to trade. That was good. Oh, I got this card from Ellen. Many thanks from the heart. It was, I, I had sent her a project bag. She won one of them. Look at this really nice card. It's like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like embossed and, and really pretty. The flowers are gorgeous. She wrote a nice note. Thanks. Thanks, Ellen. That made me so happy when I got that in the mail. Um, I just, sometimes when, when Mr. Wright brings the mail in, there's like stacks. There's like the bills the junk and then it says so grateful on most of them so it's pretty funny um okay this one this one is from it's a really funny card it's super cute okay here okay look at the card it's from deb isn't that cute and she gave me these marigolds so later today one of those flower beds well, there you go. One of those flower beds out there is, uh, or raised beds, is going to be planted with some peas, a new batch of spinach, a new batch of Swiss chard, and then in a couple weeks I'm going to plant um, uh, my garlic for, the, you know, for for me to have it come springtime, and I'm going to plant these marigolds around it to keep the bugs away. So that was so nice of her. I had she had won one of the project bags, and she sent that to me. It made me so happy. And then she sent me this the rarest flower blackbird design with the bird isn't that a pretty pattern it's just so nice of her you certainly don't have to do that but gosh i kind of feel lucky that you did so thank you <laughs> thank you thank you thank you okay this one this is from my friend anita and um i gave her uh the pattern the boris pattern the um by plum i think it's plum street sampler and when i was done and she sent me this really nice card. And then she sent me this um, pattern called uh, August August's Poppy. And it's by Cottage Garden. And it says, when the waves kiss your feet and the sand is your seat. And um, I got to go to the beach this past weekend and we had a beautiful Sunday picnic right on the ocean. And um, my feet were really dirty last night coming home or my, uh, Sunday night. So I had to scrub them before I even went to bed. Uh, I got to go barefoot on the beach and smell the fresh air and eat my picnic. And it was wonderful. So I look forward to, to doing that pattern. One of the things that she sent um, was her leftover Turkish Red Weeks Dye Works thread. Okay. So she sent it, which I appreciate. Thank you, Anita. And here's what she sent. Okay, but I wanted to show you. It's not just the little hole that the company makes. She punches it with a hole punch. Can you see it or do you need it on white? I don't know. Can you, can you see it? There you go. You can kind of see it on white. Okay, so this is the main thread, and then this is like the little bit of leftover thread that you would use and not, not fully need. And so instead of putting it back and trying to put it into the larger, she just punches a little hole, and then that's how she stores it. I love that tip. I love that idea. Thank you, Anita. I, I definitely am going to do that. I'm going to have I'm going to punch all my things. They're going to be hole punch all over my carpet, which is pretty funny. <laughs> I'll think of you every time I see it. Okay, and then I got one more. Look at this project bag. Look how beautiful. I love poppies. You know I do. Oh, wait. Okay, so, yeah, right there. Above that blue uh, quilt that's uh, sitting there, those are all poppies that are growing. So, and there's, uh, I don't know, five or six blossoming today. So, um, she knows I love poppies. And this little uh, zipper pull is a kangaroo. That might give you a clue. And look, inside, look, it's almost like our sky. Look how blue that, oh, that's perfect. 
Okay, this came from my friend Lisa, and Lisa loves stitching. She's a floss tube maker from Australia, and she sent these macadamia nuts. Yum! Oh, wait. She sent these macadamia nuts. <laughs> it was a full bag. I already opened it, and then I tried to tape it shut so you wouldn't think that I opened them. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Raw macadamia nuts? They're so good. They're so good. Okay, so let's just pretend. Pretend this is closed. Look, it's my friend Lisa sent me. <laughs> anyway, she has, um, oh, oh, there's one in here I wanted to show you. Okay, so these are little sachets that she sewed. And it's called Cinnamon Myrtle, native to Australia, and it repel, repels bugs. So you can put this with your yarn, your fabric, or in your pantry. Isn't that nice? Okay, so Lisa has um, a new Etsy shop, and she's uh, selling some uh, uh, counting pins and obviously project bags. And um, I just wanted to tell you about her. She's, she's so nice, so generous. I mean, the postage from Australia alone. Huh. Lordy, thank you. Thank you so much for your generous generosity and your kindness. I, I kind of blown away when I opened it. I was, I was, I was shocked. So thank you so much. Makes me, makes me smile. Just looking at the, just looking at the fabric. Okay. Oh, I have this one I wanted to tell you about. Okay. So this, I made a present for my friend for her birthday. Okay. There's the piece that I stitched. Just took, uh, two nights. Uh, took uh, DMC thread 640 and 844 I think okay it is called uh, he is risen a pillow pin pillow by country rustic primitives it's an Etsy shop so I stitched the whole pillow put some piece around it um, then on the back I made a little pocket so I used this to explain it because somebody uh, asked me a question of how I did it so I did not use this fabric on the back of that pin pillow but anyway okay pretend this is the back of the pin pillow then I take another piece and I fold it stitch it so we have a nice clean finish and then I lay it on the back and just treat it as the back and then that's where the pocket is that's where um, this I created into a prayer pillow so um, in the back where the pocket is I just tucked in three or four little prayers of health and wellness and goodness and, and stuck them so that they get the idea that they can stick them there um, and then I just uh, sewed two buttons on the back and oh here I'll do this <laughs> feels good I know it's only 65 I'm sure you're all in the hundreds but 65 for Washington is kind of hot sitting out here in the Sun <sighs> anyway okay um, I just uh, sewed two buttons on the back and tied a ribbon across or, you know wound a ribbon across so that the person could uh, hang it on a doorknob or a dresser drawer or take the ribbon off and just put it put it in a basket so anyway that is a quick stitch it was just two dmc threads i used a piece of scrap fabric and uh, only took two days so if you need a birthday present it might be a perfect answer perfect answer let's see what else do i have i i know this is sort of weird i've already done it once oh how about a book suggestion yay here, I'll show, oh, first I'll show you my, um, look, this is my bookmarker. It's like, we made them in Sunday school, remember that? Okay, so you just take leftover ribbons, and you just glue them, or tape them, or whatever, to a popsicle stick. And then, I just use that in my book to mark my favorite pages, or a, uh, a sentence that I want to talk to my friend about. We decided to start a book club, the two of us. The grass stained feet girl a snazzy girls book club <laughs> so it's really fun to chat with her about it favorite paragraphs favorite sentence discuss it talk about uh the fr the first part oh it was it, this is called the earth prescription by laura canover and um she really explains grounding i'm barefoot right now I was barefooting hula hooping in the yard and she really talks about our bodies being um, an electrical thing and we need that grounding we need to be grounded to complete the circuit and it helps us with healing it helps us with wellness it helps our thyroid it helps all sorts of things and so gentle suggestion take your shoes off get out there walk in the dirt or um, the sand on the beach or your grass and um, if you're not going to bed and having to scrub your feet before you go to bed you didn't do enough grounding so anyway highly recommend the book 
It's really good read. Maybe you could find a friend and you two could read it together and then talk about it and discuss it. And maybe you could make your own um, bookmark. It's the best. Aren't those the best? <laughs> just, yeah, just use your scrap fabrics and or scrap ribbons that you get or someone sends you something has a ribbon. Um, make a bookmark out of it. It's good. It makes you smile just by seeing it. Okay, I feel like I'm... Ta I, I, okay, I talked this whole thing once and now I'm talking the whole thing again. Okay, let me tell you what I'm grateful for. Hmm, okay, the sunshine, my garden, the chickens. The chickens are laying great eggs. I've got lots of good things. Oh, lots of good things going in the garden. Let me see, maybe I can... Can I turn it? Oh, I'll turn it this way so you can see. Can you see my green beans and my, um, let's see, green beans and peppers and cucumbers and uh, some radishes? Yeah, it's good. It's really good. I got lots of good stuff. So um, anyway, okay, let's talk about something I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for weed killer. Yes, I am. All of that where all my... Um, garden raised beds are the people that lived here before us had a huge swing set and that was where the kids uh, played and so all of those chips were so they wouldn't hurt themselves if they fell down however weeds pop up and I can't use roundup we don't use any chemicals this actually works one gallon of vinegar two cups of epsom salt and a quarter of a cup of dawn dishwashing soap and i put it all in my big gallon sprayer and i can spray the driveway cracks with a little bit of weeds or um, a pathway gravel where the um uh, the bark is and so i sprayed some last night and those are the two weeds this morning it works it one of the ones we've tried all kinds and this one really works so Anyway, there you go. There's your answer. Don't use chemicals. Try this. It works. It's really, really nice that it works. So, I mean, we pull weeds by hand, but after a while, you know. Ooh, speaking of feet, buy yourself a, a little pumice bar. Put it in the shower. It's like two or three dollars. You can get it online. You can get it at Walmart, Sally's Beauty Supply, wherever. If you have some place open, um, buy two. Give one to your friend so they can they can use it too. Um, totally scrubs the bottom of your feet every night if you're out there grounding get a little dirty looking you gotta you gotta keep that pedicure up make it look nice so that's a very good thing oh these are good okay uh, we had them on our picnic on Saturday on Sunday okay so you know hummus is that creamy light brown color and then a light brown cracker it's not that pretty these are so good three seed beet crackers from Trader Joe's um, they just beet powder, black sesame seeds, flax seeds, paprika, chia seeds, onion powder. So good. And they're crisp and they're really, really tasty. And they're so good with hummus. So anyway, I'm really grateful for um, some really good crackers that make your picnic a little bit nicer. So anyway, thanks. Thanks a lot for joining me. Thanks for leaving all those great comments. Um, I don't know. It's the best. I love listening to you. I love hearing from you. Oh, and I had one question about the Argyle quilt from, I think, Jackie. I, I haven't exactly put my finger on the pattern, but when I do, I promise you I'm going to give you the name and all the details and all that. So, ooh, sorry about that. Okay. Um, anyway, thanks for joining me. Thanks for coming to my, my backyard and uh, beautiful, beautiful sky. And uh, the chickens were kind of quiet today, but you got to hear the train. So there you go. Um, anyway, thanks. I, I'm, I'm really, I am so grateful that um, I'm part of this community. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you that are kind and considerate. Um, it's, it's people I want to I, I want to be around I want to hang out I, I I feel like sunshine when I'm around you it's a good it's a good thing so anyway um, I want to go back to hula hooping yeah it makes you feel good you get to hula hoop you get to be happy um, I hope you enjoy the sunshine and if it's too hot I hope you're inside stitching so uh, thanks for joining me and uh, we'll chat soon bye bye